Hello, hello, Ederson Oliver here. This is the Dinian tip of the week. And today, this tip came from Tom Berryhill. Tom, thank you very much for sending this. You sent this a few weeks ago. And it's a tip about how to create a splash screen on DNN. Actually, a splash page, not a splash screen. A splash page, a welcome page, a promo page, a teaser page. Whether or not this is appropriate to be used on your site, it's really up to you to decide, up to you to judge. The only thing that I can say is that if it adds value, use it. If it's not adding value, don't use it. But this is what this video will be about. I hope you like it. But before I talk to you about the Dean and Tip of the Week, let me talk about Open Friday. Open Friday was an idea that I had the other day. I like connecting with people that may need help with DNN, may have a question or may have, you know, need some suggestions, some recommendations about things and what to do and how to do things and may need something a little bit quicker than a forum post or a Facebook exchange of messages. So I've opened a Slack channel, a Slack you no know, URL, and we can connect there. And I have opened for the next four Fridays. I'll be there available from 10 in the morning to 2 in the afternoon. That's Eastern time. And the dates are Friday 17, 24th, 31st, that's August, and September the 7th. So again, from 10 to 2 Eastern time. I'll be there. I'll be there to answer your questions to actually help you hands on. Maybe you have an upgrade that went wrong and you need some help. Maybe you need some suggestions, some recommendations from someone that has worked in the field for a little while. It's open, it's free, there's no catch. I'm not trying to get anything out of you. I'm not, I'm just trying to connect, to help, to lend a helping hand. Connect with me, go to deskpowercom forward slash open, put your name, first name, last name, and email address. With that, I'll be able to create an account for you with that on that Slack and send you an invitation, okay? So I hope we are able to connect and I hope that I can provide a helping hand to you with DNN. So here's our setup. We have a DNN 921 website. In the first strategy that I'm gonna share on how to create a splash page is the default one from DNN itself. If you go to, and I'm logged in as super user here, if you go to settings, site settings, then we can go to site behavior tab and here we have the splash page dropdown. Before coming to this, however, I have already created, already set up a page called welcome page. This will be our splash. So let's have a look at that right here, view. So just a, a very plain page, but theoretically this would be our splash page. So just go to site settings under the site behavior splash page, we're gonna set up that welcome page as our splash page. Let's save this. Now let's try to see what will happen if we access the site from another browser. So as we can see, the welcome page came up right away. Now, because this is controlled via cookies on your local browser for this session, if I try to open the same site on another tab, the root of the site, the welcome page will no longer come back because it's been set in the cookie that the welcome has already been displayed. So you may think that this might be a disadvantage. I'm not sure, but it's really up to you to decide if this is a good use for the splash page or not. For the user to be able to see the splash page again, they would have to close and open the site again and the splash page would come once again. The other option that we could use would be to go back here as super user to the site settings. And then instead of using the splash page for the temporary page or the, the welcome page, we could set up the home page setting as the welcome page. So you could change the home page. And I could save this. And if I try now, to go to another tab here. The welcome page is now the new home page. And home page is still there. You can see home up here, so you can click. And now you have the slash home 
as the existing home page, but it's no longer the root page of the site. Now, just be mindful that if you are using this approach, the second one, you are actually changing the content of the main page of the home page of your site, the root page of your site. You are changing that and Google will index this page as a new home of the website. You may want to do that. You may not want to do that. It will depend, but keep that in mind. Now, one more thing to keep in mind is that if by any chance you use the first approach, the splash page approach, and I'm going to set it up right now. I'm going to keep the home page as home and I'm going to save this on the welcome page. You can set up a timer and I'm going to do that right now under advanced SEO, you can set up a meta tag called refresh and you can potentially let the user see the splash page for a few seconds and then move to the home page. Really up to you to use this approach or not, but you can set up, you can use the meta tag called refresh. You can set this up under a page header tags and you could set how many seconds you want this page to be shown and then redirect to the home page, the slash page, the home page, the main page of the website. Let's try to do that. Let's save this. And now we're going to try to open on a second tab here on, as incognito. When you try that, you go to the welcome page and then we count five seconds and you get redirect to the home page. Again, it might be 10 seconds, depending on the message that you have on your splash page. So this is it. This is how you can create a welcome page, a teaser page, a splash page, a promo page on your DNN website. Thank you very much and bye for now. If you like this DNN tip of the week and don't want to miss out anyone, subscribe.